we think this is a really exciting opportunity to a allow our members to get together b have a really good schedule of speakers but also the networking and also the trade stands. It feel, it's a really exciting package and we are really looking forward to being able to run the event. So Lindsay, can you explain to us how it's going to be different this year and what we can expect? Well, first of all, we're really delighted that we can run the conference at its normal date in the year, the first Thursday in March. We felt it's really important to keep some familiarity with our premier event, really, for members to understand that we haven't forgotten about their diaries, their, their understanding of how our BBGA events work. But ultimately, this is a really important time of year. We've got, we're working in a new Brexit world. We're coping with the challenges that um, COVID has brought us. So we're forging ahead, um, not in face-to-face -face contact but in a virtual format and we have worked with a platform called Airmeet so we're really excited about what Airmeet can offer but there are positives to running a virtual event and that is that there is very little barrier to attending the cost is low there is no limit to the number of people we can have there um, we've got really exciting schedule of speakers to work through so we're really excited to expect a higher attendance than normal. We are delighted that most of our usual sponsors and some new ones are returning again. We are also really excited to launch a, an arena. So there will be a trade stand within the conference this year. So in between the speaker sessions, you as a delegate can wander around the arena and visit the booths. Um, and within those booths, there is a there are lounges, so you can attend your your trade stand, sit at a table, have some networking, have some discussions with the person with the company um, hosting that booth. Um, and then we've also wanted to try and make sure that the event allowed for networking. This is a really important part of what BBGA members want to see from our events, you know, there are very few opportunities when you can get together and network um, for, our, for our sector. So we're really excited that we have this uh, platform that allows for networking as well. So when you arrive as a delegate, you go to the registration point and then you are invited into the lounge and you can sit at a table and there's lots, lots of tables there with eight people at the table and you can just sit yourself down, introduce, to the, introduce yourself to the people on the table and you can arrange, there's also an opportunity to do speed networking. So if you're not sure where to sit or who to talk to, you can click a button and it'll arrange it for you within a defined period of time. So you can work your way around the room and start to really get yourself known to other people and start up conversations. So we think this is a really exciting opportunity to A, allow our members to get together, B, have a really good schedule of speakers, but also the networking and also the trade stands. It feel, it's a really exciting package and we are really looking forward to being able to run the event. I think it's brilliant that you're allowing people the opportunity to get together. And I know um, too that you're going to create a training as well, aren't you, for people, if um, anyone is unfamiliar with the platform, there's going to be some training, video training that you're going to put out so that people can actually go and have a play, play with the software or experiment so that it'll be easier for people to get online. Because I know that we're all getting more familiar with networking virtually and um, it's sometimes different uh, softwares have different nuances, but I know that you're working hard to ensure that people can really be very comfortable if they wish ahead of time before they even join the conference. That's right, Liz. I think if there was any learning that we can generate from COVID and us all having to work from home is that we've all had to adapt to different platforms, all had to adapt to different ways of communicating online. And every single software that you use has something about it that is, doesn't work properly, is quite annoying. Um, so in order to overcome that, we are running a video which effectively runs you through what it's like to be a delegate at the event. It shows you where to click on to get to the arena, where to move on to get to your speakers, uh, to, to the programme of speakers. Um, and 
like um, Microsoft would offer you four different journeys to get to a certain point. The same would be on this platform, but we want to take you down the easiest route to get to the point that you want to get to. So yeah, we'll, we're not going to leave you in the lurch. We don't expect you to turn up on the day and just know it all, but we will help you with a little video that will just give you a run through on what to expect. Well, that's fantastic, Lindsay. And I do know um, as technology evolves, as we're in this new um, way of working, or it's not so new anymore, that um, it, it, it is becoming easier and easier. That, uh, there's no barrier to entry there. And I love it that it opens up the conference, as you said, to so many more people. Lindsay, I have a question for you. I believe you've got some very interesting speakers lined up for March the 4th. Could you share a little bit maybe about a couple of them? Yes, yeah, certainly. We've got a couple of operators giving two different views, which we have seen as a classic example of adaptability and agile, being agile in the face of new challenges. Uh, so we're delighted to have Globe Air, Bernard Fragner, from a European perspective, as we are delighted to have David Lacey from RVL from a UK perspective. Entirely different experiences of how operations work in a new world that we're in at the moment. But it'd be great to hear how they have managed the last 12 months and where they look to see the future developing for their organisations. Really positive picture. So, Lindsay, walk me through. I've signed up. I get into the conference and there's a wonderful agenda and networking. Um, what happens beyond that now that okay. I've come through? Okay, I'm glad you asked because we are going to be sending out, for every booking that we receive, we will be sending you out a delegate pack in the post. So on the day of the conference, you open up your delegate pack and in there will be some sponsors goodies, including some refresher packs so that during your coffee and tea break, you will have your branded tea and coffee and maybe a biscuit to eat. So it, that it feels like a familiar conference, as you would do normally if you were at Luton Who, which is where we'd hope to have been this year. Um, but so the, the event opens at nine and you can go into the platform and register and go into the lounge like I spoke to you before. Um, and then you'll also, in advance of that, be able to download the programme. And the programme is more than just the agenda. It's got the, the welcome piece from Mark in it. It's got um, a little bit of documentation from all the sponsors in there, as well as the actual agenda for the day. So you can download that a couple of days before. And we will send that out separately because that will be continually updated. Um, and then you walk up to the platform. You It will come up with a little notification to let you know when the sessions start. Um, and then you use the day as you go on. But it's important to be aware that whilst this speaker's sessions finish at half past two, because we, all, we do recognise that screen time can be quite exhausting, so we don't want to push people to their limits. So the actual speaker sessions run between half past nine and half past two. We will keep the platform open until 5 p.m. So if you want some networking, if you want to arrange some meetings, if you want to spend some time going around the booths and the arena, there is no pressure on your time. You have quite a bit of space in the coffee and tea breaks, in the lunch break, and after the speakers have finished through till 5 p.m. In addition to that, the, the, we will be filming all the sessions. So post-conference, we will be making available films of the speakers so that we can reference back to them afterwards. So come along on March the 4th to the BBGA AGM and conference. Register at bbga.aero. Lindsay, why? Come along to network. Come and share ideas, not just with BBGA colleagues, but with other delegates attending as well.